Hello and welcome back to It's Aristocracy. I'm joined here by Paul and Waffy, and today we'll be doing an Ancient Civilizations Spelling Bee. So, let's get on to the first one. So, who would like to go first? Uh, I don't mind. Okay, so Waffy will go first. So, your first word is kirtle. It was from the Tudor period, and it means a woman's gown or a man's outer tunic. And I'll repeat the word for you again. The word is kirtle. Okay. Um, okay, so... I'm going to start with a K. Yes. Okay. Um, now, I'm, I'm, what I'm wondering now is either it's going to be like a Y or it's going to be an A or an E. I'm going to go K-Y-R-T-L-E. That's, it was so close. It's it, was, I. it was actually K-R-I-R-T-L-E. Oh, okay. You're so okay. close, okay. unlucky. Okay. So, Paul, your yep. word is looser. It comes from Celts, and it means a flagstone. Your word is looser. Looser, okay. Oh. I really should just go for the think It's just a stand loose. Something that feels loose. So. L-O-O-S-E-R. I'm so sorry, that is also wrong. It's L-O-U-S-A. What? I th- I think it's prob I think it's probably because it was it wasn't like a um a word that word that we use now because like now we have like o- double O's right yeah, at the time I think word. because it was like an uncommon noun or something it would it would have that because usually with verbs we don't have like endings with a like we, you know what I mean like it doesn't usually end in an unorthodox way okay but yeah Waffy your word is sarcophagus. It comes from the Egyptian period, and it means a stone coffin. Just to repeat, your word is sarcophagus. Okay. Um, if I can get the if I can get the start right, I think I've got this. Uh, okay, S A R. Yes. C O. P H. Yes. A G. Yes. US. That, that is correct. Waffy's got his first point on the board here. Uh, uh, yes. This feels bad for me because I'm. Hold on. So, Paul, your word is also from the Egyptian period and it is hieroglyph. It, oh, it hieroglyph. means sacred carvings. So, just to repeat, your word is hieroglyph. Hieroglyph. So. Right, so I think. Hmm. Very difficult. Um, hieroglyphics. I do know the word. I don't have to spell it. I don't think it's that hard. H. I, yeah. Y or I. Y or I. Wait, say it again. The word is hieroglyph. Hieroglyph. H. Y R O. I'm sorry, that is wrong. But you can keep going. Okay, now, I'm, like. now I'm, I'm okay. Gonna keep going. Wait, yeah, it, I, do I get a bonus point if I say it correct? Wafi, yes, you can get a bonus if you get this correct. Okay. Uh, um. H I. Yes. E R O. Yes. G L. Yes. Y P H. Yes. I C S. Well, that's hieroglyphics, but hieroglyphics, yeah, that's yeah, that that's is correct. Yeah, hieroglyphics, Well, Waffy yeah. takes a bonus point. Well done. No. Yes. He, he searched this up, he has to. No, no. I didn't. Okay. No, no. You know, can I just say something? Can I just say, because I think if you actually, if you actually notice it, uh, all these ancient words that have diff- weird spellings, the only wrong thing, that's the only weird thing that we find now is because our vowels, we use our vowels differently. So if you look at it, like when we had Kirtle as well, they, we had, I thought maybe it's an A or an E. But it turns out it was either a Y or an I. And I think it's because they used vowels differently to us now. And so it's actually the main catch that comes into many of these words is the vowel. Yeah. Okay, so. This is quite an easy one, but let's see how you do. Okay. I, think, I believe this is for Wafi. The yeah. word is Socrates. It comes from the Greek period and he is a Greek philosopher. Okay, Socrates. S-O-C. Oh my god. R-A-T-E-S. Correct, Waffy. Can I have an easy one? 
Okay, Paul, your one, the word is aqueduct. It is a Roman word from okay. the Roman period, and it is a watercourse constructed to carry yep. water from it's... a source to a distribution point far away. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's an E after the A. Uh, no, it's an aqua. Why? A Q U A D U C T. That's so unfortunate. You missed out. It was A Q U E D U C T. Aqueduct. Aqua. Yeah. So, okay. Don't think you will be. Your yeah. word is Constantinople. It is part of the Byzantine and Ottoman Empire, and it is the capital city of the Roman yeah. Empire. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually the old word for Istanbul, I believe. Anyway, uh, C O N S T A N T I N O P L E. That is correct, Wafi. Well done. Thank you. So, Paul, your word is Asquel. It uh, it comes from the Aztec period, and it is the word for a small ant. The word is Asquel. <laughs> Right, I've Asquel. never heard this word before. Right, uh, I think I think for some reason I think it, I think it might have something to do with sequel. Might have like some similar spelling. I'm not sure though. I don't know any words that are really close to that. I can give you it one more time. It's asquel. Asquel. Hmm. A S Quell How would you spell Quell? Q No, I don't need them at this stage. Q U W E L L As that is wrong. It's A S Q U E L. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, that's our next people. Ask. Okay, so Wafi. Yeah. Your word is Mesopotamia. Okay. So it is Mesopotamia. Mesopotamian, and it is yeah. a historic region of Western Asia situated within the Tigris Euphrates river system in the northern part of the Fertile Crescent. Okay, okay, Mesopotamia. Okay, I think it's so. M E S O. Yes. P O T A M I A. Correct, Waffy. Yes. And Paul, your word is Pharaoh. It comes from the Egyptian period and it is a half man, half god who rules over Egypt. Pharaoh. Oh, no, the O and A. P H A. Yes. R. Uh, yes. I beg this goes so. A O H. That is correct. You're about your first I point. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and okay. that is it, folks. Thank you ever so much for tuning in to Isis Doxy for this ancient civilization spelling bee. And as we can see, Waffy takes the win here. But maybe we'll have another one in the future and see if Paul can get his back again. So thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.